What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Battle Cruiser with my Tucker Master Grand Finale, episode number 20, the perfect number. Our MMR is looking very, very good. 5366. Can we reach one more goal before ending the show? 5.4k MMR. Let's do it. All right, first game of the day is against Sidestorm Morn A for a Terran player. Wait, that's actually a pretty cool portrait. I don't think I've seen that one before. And we are playing with Violet. First of all, this is the most important thing of the game, of course. I, I feel like I want to change color. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I want to change it yet to, but I do want to. Now, what I wanted to say about Morn is that I remember playing against him but a long time ago. We might have played him in one of those earlier NA server challenges, uh, I believe. Now, this is this is a leftover from my stream. It, it is kind of funny how all my different accounts keep the colors. Now, let's see. I'm going to change the color. Now I have the chance. I want to play with light green. And my opponent is just going to be the classic red. There we go. Yo, this is actually kind of cool. I, I have brighter settings on this account. I get, for some reason, that doesn't change. That looks quite bright. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm vibing with this. All right. F feeling good already, guys. Now, what are we going to do against the Terran player? This is the grand finale, so I, I'm going to be trying to bring my A game. Um, or I should say my A build. I mean... The level of which I play, I can't always control that myself. That's an important lesson to learn, by the way, for StarCraft. Sometimes you're just going to play like crap. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. Sometimes it just happens. Um, but I will try to do my absolute best builds here. So against Terran, I mean, against Terran, we pretty much have only one strategy. Sounds kind of funny because we've had some really chaotic, epic macro games and all that. But from my POV, there's one strategy that's the best. I have to go for, yeah, I mean, a very fast battle cruiser. Most of the time, you can't really teleport it across right away because opponents, um, or well, Terrans in general on TVT, they always make Ravens. Usually, not always, but usually make at least one Cyclone. And if you teleport into that, your BC just dies. And then, yeah, I mean, if you rush your battle cruiser just to lose it, you're obviously quite dead, right? Especially in, the, you know, up here in the high Grandmaster. So that's not something I want to do. So I'm going to have to scout perfectly. Uh, my opponent is going for a fast wall off that's always a little scary but most of the time it's still gonna be a very relaxed double gas opener so that's all good now i don't quite remember what the best way is to defend with these like i haven't been recording as many videos for this series recently so you know i'm gonna be a little bit rusty but that's okay now i didn't see an scv coming back but i also didn't look at the minimap uh, in that one second where the SCVs were supposed to cross each other. So if I would have to guess, he did move it back home because it's very unusual to uh, keep the SCV around, especially when you're going up against a double gas as well. Uh, but I'm definitely going to have to make Widow Mines pretty fast here. Uh, I'm going to make one Widow Mine before the starport. I think that sounds pretty normal to me. Also, what I do against Protoss, I do remember that. Uh, because of Widow Mine... Especially if you're going up against double gas, it's just a necessity. Now, I am going to skip the first two Marines, which I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, doesn't really sound like a good idea to me, but, but who knows, right? I think Widow Mines are just going to be more useful than having an extra Marine. I'm even going to skip uh, another Marine just so I can make the second Widow Mine. It's going to be really weird for my opponent if he just runs into Widow Mines everywhere, but it is what it is. Now, how many Marines can I make? I can make four more Marines, I believe. I don't have the supply yet, but that should be okay in a second. This one is going to make the fusion core already. So sometimes I feel like I'm a, I can be a little late on the fusion core, but it's obviously like the most important thing I can build. Then you go and make um, a third gas already. Now, how many widow mines do I need here? I I'm not even sure if my... Well, I do know he's playing racks first because the depot was really fast. I think with gas first, the depot wouldn't be there yet. He also could have made the depot extra fast on purpose to just not, not show me any information, right? Um, so maybe he could be going for a one base all in. In that case, I'd be a little scared. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have scouted with the Reaper a little bit faster because, I mean, I have the tools to defend the one base all ins, but I also need to be in position. Having the units is step number one, right? But actually having your units in the right place, if this gets hit by a bunch of... Okay, okay, that doesn't look like a one base solid to me. That's a good scout. Um, if he was going to jump up here with five Reapers and elevate three Hellions in a medevac, you know, I can be as good as I want. I'm, I'm not going to defend that. So I, I would love to move these Widow Whites forward, but it's also a little bit scary, you know. I think at some point my opponent is uh, very likely going to jump up the Reapers into the main. So right now, I like my unit positioning. And I do need to be smart about... Oh! All right, I'm playing against me. Okay, very interesting. Oh, oh, this is gonna be brutal. I think yeah, he can't go up there. I mean, guys, he he can't land this. 
We're getting planetary rushed. He's sacrificing reapers, but I have more. I have so many freaking units, but okay, I was a little bit greedy here. I just need to make sure this planetary doesn't land. Let's get these back over here. I mean, I'm making a battle cruiser and I'm getting planetary rushed. As long as this planetary doesn't land for a while, it's going to be all right for me. Uh, but at some point, he is going to land it because I am making... This is going to have to... This is going to be a very crazy game. I can guarantee you guys that. Now, I do have a surround because I have the depot on my side. I can lower the depot. I got these widow mines here. Oh, my God. The widow mines are going to kill everything here. Look at this. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. The command center is going to die. And as soon as this battle cruiser finishes, I will teleport it across the map, though. I need to be careful for Magfield. Let's see. What does he have at home? Nothing yet. I'm just going to go for it right away. I'm not convinced it's a really good move. Worth a try. It was indeed, my friend. It was indeed. And here is the battle cruiser. GG. <laughs> I knew I remembered his name. And now the battle cruiser is going to finish it. <laughs> he didn't expect the, the battle cruiser. So good luck for the next game. Thank you, sir. Awesome attempt by him. I have to say, you could tell he didn't have that much. Well, he, I mean, he, he did have a follow-up. He was just talking, of course. But in this case... It sounds insane, but those Widow Mines won me the game here because those Widow Mines delayed his attack so much he wasn't able to get his units to the planetary. I do think, and this, this is, I'm not kidding right now. If that CC goes into the natural, the normal way I do it against Terran, if that CC goes into the natural and they keep the Cyclones alive, I think we're going to be behind. I'm not kidding. I, I I cannot stop that until the Battlecruiser is out. And even with the Battlecruiser, it doesn't have Yamato. It dies to the Cyclones. I have to teleport across. I really think if my opponent here went for the CC in the natural, I would have been behind. So I guess that's lucky on my part. Anyway, awesome warm-up game. Let's keep it going. And game number two is going to be a rematch here against Morin. All right. Now, I'm curious to see because... One thing that's always very difficult for these challenges is getting blind countered, right? If I was him, like, I know it, it seems like he's a fan of the channel and, and he wants to keep the game fair and fun and, and stuff like that, but it'd be very interesting to see what he would cook up if he would go for a blind counter, right? <laughs> be <ready>. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I remember we had some troubling games before against someone blind countering us with, like, a double factory cyclone plus raven um oh are we gonna have some npc small talk there we go definitely most most death there you go it actually has been very nice i mean small talk aside well this is actually small talk never mind but the weather has been fantastic like 28 degrees celsius you know very sunny no rain it, it's fantastic it's very green around here too because i'm pretty sure for three months straight it just rained before it uh, became good weather um uh, now anyway back to the game right back to the game now what is he gonna do i mean I, I feel like there's so many ways to kill a battlecruiser mind player but it does require a little bit of research perhaps and i mean he doesn't have the time to research my builds exactly even if you watch these videos you might still not be aware of the weaknesses because you're mostly watching for entertainment and stuff right um at least at least i hope you guys are entertained um but this build definitely has weaknesses and i i think i know uh, pretty much all of them uh, but i am the one playing it i already played this build i don't know how many times at least 50 probably more um and i probably know five uh, <laughs> five ways for me to dive yep yep very nice <laughs> looks great let's see you know I feel like those small talk distraction, it's about timing. I need to hit him back with something that blows his mind just when it's important, you know? Like maybe, ooh, okay, no, he's definitely winning this one. Now, now, now I'm starting to blush a little bit. He's walling off really fast again. No, actually, it's, it's just a normal Rax versus Depot. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, he's into my head. What am I supposed to do? Oh, my God, he psyched me. Guys, okay, I, I think we should just block him. No, no, just kidding. I won't do that. All right, let's go for the reactor here. Um, let's actually pay attention if I see the SCP coming back this time. <laughs> Winky <God>. face. <laughs> Wait, I need some cool emotes. Do I have cool emotes here? I don't think I do. Let's see, this this one, it says cute, but it's so small it looks more terrifying than cute. All right, let's get the SCP on the natural. And then we're going <laughs> to... It looks very vicious, doesn't it? I actually think it looks more vicious than cute. Um, but yeah. And wait, oh, it's good that I just thought of this. This map, it always gets me because there's a, an, a, well, I was going to say a third, but I guess a second Reaper cliff there uh, that Reapers can jump up in. So I do need to cover that with, yeah, I'm actually going to send an SCV. I feel like I really have to cover that so the Reapers don't get into my base. Um, before, yeah, I'll do it before the Starport too. I, I don't think I really need the Starport that fast as long as I get in on a decent time. So here, I'm going to make two Marines instead of one. Um, Widow Mine's going to be buried at the front. But he does know exactly how I position my units from the last game, right? So, yeah, it's, it's going to get a little sketch. I'm actually going to switch these over already to just get extra Widow Mines faster. 
Uh, one thing that could be scary is if he just sends Reaper Hellion uh, past the one Widow Mine very early on. And on this map, you can actually probably dodge the Widow Mine. Like it, it barely hits the edges. If you if you go like this, if you path your runes like this, I'm not sure if the, if the Widow Mine is actually gonna pop off or not. No, I don't need another deep because it's gonna finish in time. I do really like uh, moves like this, by the way. It, it feels very small, but somehow it's, it feels rewarding to just like figure out the map and. Uh, you know, have all your depots in the right position and stuff. I'm gonna kill an SCV here, which is nice. That does mean he's probably out on the map. Uh, else he would have units in place to the... Okay. Yeah, okay, here we go, guys. This looks like a instant Cyclone Raven opener. It, maybe he didn't even make another unit. Yeah, he didn't even go for a Reaper. Okay, yeah, he's going fully for the blind counter. Uh, and this is gonna be a tough one, guys. I can tell you guys this much. Now, maybe... I can move these uh, Widow Mines out on the map. He might not expect that because that's not what I did last game. So I'm just going to go out on the map with these. It's probably going to be more of a macro game than the game I got I got Planetary Rushed, right? So, yeah, let me try to cover every choke here. This should be all right. If he somehow goes in between or like this, I, I, I will be a little bit upset, but that's all right. Now, should I go for the Force Cast already? I feel like we're okay. The Command Center is going to be more important, right? How many widow mines can I really send? Yeah, right now we have enough. I'm gonna fly my my barracks across, and this is just gonna be a scout. I want to know later on if it's gonna be like more starports or more factories or something. Uh, and I don't need the barracks anyway. E even these four marines, if he's not gonna jump into my base with a reaper, I I, I don't need them. Um, so I'm just gonna save all of my battlecruisers in the corner. I'm gonna get my fourth gas now. And, yeah, hopefully... I mean, th th this already looks very tough. This is the kind of thing that's really, really difficult to beat. And I'm going to need crazy outplays. Because Ravens and Cyclones... Just exactly. This, this is what's going to happen. Even on a move, they they will just kill these. So I'm going to try to sneak behind them every time. I'm going to try to burrow these in sneaky locations. I'm not going to burrow them in the open. I'm going to burrow them like in you know annoying corners like that. So he might walk into them on accident. Because no one is going to expect Widow Mines there. Okay, well, we're going to get a shot on the Raven. That is nice. Maybe... Maybe with... Okay, here we go. Oh, that, was, that one was close, wasn't it? Let's see. Okay, this one is going to die. That's unfortunate. I think I'm going to go for the teleporter cross, though. Um, here we go. It's the best move I have, I think. Uh, wait, he's going to go back as well. He dropped a turret, but turrets uh, yeah, are not that impressive anymore. If there's no Cyclone here... Now, these breeds are not going to do anything. Oh, okay, this was fantastic. He's probably going to walk into that Widow Mine too. He could be killing me right now, 100%, but he decided to go back, and that is just fantastic for me. Going back is maybe even going to put me in an advantage. Okay, so that was a Heli in first. That's a little unfortunate. Uh, but this Battle Cruiser is also most likely going to survive unless I mess it up. Ooh, that Cyclone was a little bit closer than I expected. It doesn't have Mag Field yet. Oh, I think it's barely going to kill it still. Though. Oh, that is rough. The one cycle. Wait, maybe he's not paying attention. Look at this. Oh my God, we got the cycle. Ever going to escape. Let's go. Okay, that was a massive play. And now I'm going to go back to burrowing Widow Mines uh, on the middle of the map, of course. This one is going to survive. Oh, he does find my barracks. That's... Yeah, I mean, it's not the biggest deal, right? But it's kind of annoying, I suppose. Now, I am going to play without planetaries. Because planetaries also just die against Cyclone. So I might as well try to max my economy for the time being. I'm going to make one bunker. Uh, just because maybe it buy me like a little bit of time. The Marines don't really have another purpose here anyway. So I do have another BC. This one I'm going to teleport it back home. Uh, and my economy now is... It's it's ahead. I don't know how. That looked like a disaster situation for us. But our economy now is uh, slightly ahead. And I do have to say this was... Yeah, it was definitely a pretty big mistake. Um, I understand why he went back. But he was going to be in a massive winning situation. I didn't have anything to kill his army. Instead, I am in a winning... Uh, wait, I'm not sure. Did I say losing situation or winning? I don't remember. I was going to be pretty dead. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess I'll just put it that way. Uh, but now I am very alive. Uh, more than alive, even. Especially if he leaves this third base. Uh, just... Oh, wait. There's minus in the way. Especially if he lets his third base just live. Look at the minimap. It looks really cool, I think. Just having like a million widow mines everywhere. I could probably use an armory. I'm not sure how good it really is against, you know, a bunch of ravens. Because, well, I could get drilling claws, I suppose. I'm not sure how useful it'll be. Yeah, his army is mostly cyclone. If I was him, yeah, okay. He's going to go for more factories too. Ooh. This is going to have to be one of those long games for me outplaying him. I know I'm ahead, but I only have two battle cruisers, guys. Two battle cruisers does not kill what he has. Now, there must be some kind of huge trap that I can set, I think. I'm thinking if I know where his cyclones are, 
I can teleport the battle cruisers to the other side of the cyclones and then burrow the widow mines in between. Because if we lose the cyclones to the widow mines, then all of a sudden I, I can kill him and, and I probably will. Now it, it is pretty hard to finish someone off with battle cruiser, I have to say. Okay, like this for example. This is this is really big. Check this out. Oh, this is gonna be a massive play, guys. Here we go. I teleported into the main and I have my widow mines in between. Look at this. Okay, that's one. Can we get a couple? Dude, it, it's gonna take you so much time to get up here because it was just a couple of widow mines. This was great. Can I get that command center? No, I need to get out of here right Yeah, I'll, I'll get out of it right away. He's probably gonna use... Uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna lose one of these. Oh, well, he didn't really lock on with all of them, so that's nice. Then I'll just Yamato. I mean, I couldn't Yamato before. Oh, he tried, but he was a little bit too late. I couldn't Yamato before because then he would have matrixed me. But he kind of tried to predict my move perhaps a little bit too fast. I'm going to start getting some sensor towers up around the map. And so far, these moves... Wait, if, guys, if he's going to stay too close, I can Yamato him without being locked on. Oh, I actually got two Ravens. What the hell? I really didn't think I was close enough for that, but I got two freaking Ravens with that. Now, is there a point in getting building armor? Probably not, right? Oh, wait, I don't, have, I don't have a barracks. I was like, I don't need a barracks for anything in this game. You need a barracks to make orbitals. Un unfortunate, guys. Unfortunate calculation on my part. Now, I'm not quite close enough to the 100 SCVs that I would like to have. So, let's keep going. Guess I can make some SCVs in the meantime while that barracks builds. I'm not even sure if I want to get upgrade. Oh, he does have Vikings now, huh? Yeah, I, I, I can teleport out pretty soon, I think. Uh, oh, wait. He's not chasing me. He could have. Those were Vikings and... Uh and Ravens, right? He could have totally chased me there. I mean, if, if he's not going to make me use my teleport, then I won't use it. Uh, as simple as that. Now, I guess I'll get two armories because now there's Vikings. And those might require some upgrades from my side to deal with those. Going to try harassing with some of these Widow Mines as well. Let's get all these gases. Going to make two more rounds of SCVs to go up to 100. Uh, but I, I have to admit, I'm a little bit scared that he also has Vikings now. Because against the Cyclones... You can kind of just, you know, lunge out or chill out in the airspace. But against Vikings, you would still die there. And that is pretty scary. I'm going to start making some turrets. I think I need to get more Widow Mines as well. I'm actually going to go for double extra factory. Okay, so his army is here now. Um, is it a good time for me? I think I'm going to go for the same play. Here we go. I'm going to umber all the Widow Mines too. Oh my god, this is just insane. That's so many freaking battle cruisers in his base. If, now if I was him, I might actually go back because his entire May base is just going to be held hostage for uh, the rest of the game if he doesn't come back. Oh, this is a really good play. And I'm going to have all these Widow Mines in between, guys. He's going to have to take so much time clearing up all these Widow Mines. Yeah, this was actually super, super nice. Now I do, do need to make sure uh, I reclaim all of these. There we go. I think that was cycle number one already. There are so many more Widow Mines on the way, too. He's trying to bait them with his units, but the Reaper died. There we go. Cycle taking a little damage. Raven getting hit. Another... Oh, the Raven there died as well. This entire main base is already gone. And there's way more here, guys. Look at this. Wow, this was such... A... I'm actually proud of this one. This was a fantastic play. Let's freaking go. Doesn't even have command centers left. Those are Widow Mines. Oh, wait. The last one got an amazing amount of splash damage. And he doesn't even have production left anymore. Battlecruz and Widow Mine looking like an absolutely insane composition in this game. He doesn't have anything. The last mine he was called that it was. I think he got like three Cyclones and maybe a Viking or something. <laughs> All right, friend. He's <laughs> like, I'm done with your shit. <laughs> Well, I mean, I didn't actually queue for that long, so I'm not sure about that. I think it was only uh, a one-minute queue. Should I give you a break for my wrath? Sure. As you wish. I mean, we've had some epic rivalries before in these grand finals, but, uh, you know, if he, if he wants to sit out, that's obviously fine with me. Okay, let's get some big Yamatos. There we go. Every unit is going to die. He wants to produce the content. Give us the satisfaction of deleting the army before he GG's, and there we go. Well played, Morn. Uh, I think his strategy was correct, but maybe he didn't quite get the right balance between attacking at the first time when he was in my base. He probably would have done an insane amount of damage when he went back. And then the last times, he probably should have stayed back until he got the turrets up, so the balance wasn't quite there. I think he chose the rock move in both situations, but the idea was very good. Uh, Cyclone Raven, obviously a fantastic strategy, but we managed to make it happen, and this game, it was freaking brutal. I know I know you're one of the boys, I'm sorry, but this game was brutal. Triple the resources lost in a TVT. That is painful. Didn't need any upgrades because Cyclones do spell damage, so I guess armor doesn't even help, but for now, let's go to game number three. All right, we're going to be playing as a Zerg player called Bam Bam on Babylon. I'm happy we got a non-Terran player, just uh, because I do like the variety. Now, should I just YOLO it and go for that CC first? I usually say, I don't want to do that against players that are like a little lower MMR that I don't know about. But it, it is such a cool... You know, I'm just going to do it. Here we go. 
Can I freaking rock that CC first build? Uh, maybe. Wait, I don't think... Why is that... Guys, I think my mind was just blown. I just... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this. Probably for good reason. But I don't think I've ever seen anyone play CC first and wall on the low ground. I mean, there must be a reason people don't do it. It's probably just like too greedy, but it does make a lot of freaking sense, doesn't it? Like, if you're going to make the comments that I hear, you might as well wall here right away. And on this map, I discovered this on my stream the other day. You can wall off so comfortably on this map. Look at this. Building one, building two, and it's a wall. And it's only big buildings walling it off. Oh, guys, I'm excited. Please do not do like an overly aggressive cheese. If we play against the pool first, um, it's 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 going to be close. But I think we can get the wall off in time. If we play against a 12 pool, then, you know, as you guys would expect, we will cry. Um, so please, Mr. Bam Bam, do not use a 12 pool. Do not proxy one base roaches or anything like that. Uh, because, you know, I would really love it if this strategy worked out. That would be so cool. That would even allow us to be more greedy. Because if I have the wall up here, normally you don't have a wall that fast. But if I do, is, is there anything I really have to be scared for? I mean, like a Raver drawling would be scary. But maybe I will have enough time to get my battle cruisers out, for example. Um, I, I did notice one thing as well. Because the game where I did wall off on the low ground without the CC first on my stream... It is not that easy to re-wall because you do need two big buildings here. Like, this does not quite fit, I believe. Because then, yeah, it, 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 there's like one little place where you can uh, go through. So, re-walling is a little more difficult than I would like. Let's see. Oh, we are playing as a pool first. Okay, but he's following my um, my units. I think I can actually make a bunker here too. I'll just make a bunker because why not? Oh, we're getting cheesed hardcore. No, I need to make an engineering bay instead. The bunker is not tanky enough. This is a really hardcore cheese. Uh, he's going to do a link flood. Guys, have I just... I think I'm going to get massively ahead because I did this. I'm going to defend it on the low ground with a CC first. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. He's he, like, this is not just a normal pool first. He went for a really fast gas. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm going to YOLO it. Here we go. I don't want to... This, okay, this, I, that's pretty crazy. Do not try that at home, please. Oh, this is so cool. I'm straight up massively ahead because I just YOLO the CC first with low ground wall. Um, he's going to have link speed. Now, I do have to be careful saying that because he could go for a follow-up baiting all in. Currently... He doesn't have enough gas for it. But what stops him from putting three workers back in gas? Build oh, let's not rally my own workers there. Uh, <laughs> building a bailing nest, morphing five bailings and going for it, right? I, I think that might even be the best strategy from his POV because economically, I, I, have, I have annihilated him. I, I can't put it any other way. I, I'm definitely going to try this more on this map because th this, this is just awesome. Now, I'm going to go with a Reaper. Uh, that is... Yeah, I, I'm going to guess that's probably a bait. I don't think I want to go for that. Um, I might want to make a second bunker blindly. Oh, I left it open for some reason. Uh, but you never want to be, like, too safe. Being too safe is, is, is not usually a good thing, right? I do have another deeper there. He's making a third hatch, so probably not a bailing all in. Okay, so then I'm going to skip. Um, he's going to go for a lair instead. Huh, that is very interesting. Okay. How do I want to handle this? Let's think about it for a second. Because battle cruisers, I mean, that's my end game, of course. But if you think about it, he's probably going to go for a fast spire. Battle cruisers suck against a fast spire because corruptors, they, yeah, they honestly just kind of dunk on, uh, on battle cruisers, especially early on. So I'm not quite sure. I think I'm going to walk these widow mines around. I cannot fit a react there, so I have to make another uh, depot. N not, now this wall is suffering a little bit. I'll definitely, yeah, this is a very weak wall, you know, two or, or five bailings would kill a reactor at two depots. That's a lot of value. So I'm going to have to work on the secondary wall. But besides that, I've, I've been pretty happy with this. Now, it could be, a, I think both options would be scary. A fast lair is almost always Nidus or Mutas. And both those options uh, would be pretty terrible. Oh, why did my... Ah, he broke the rock so my mind took that path in the league. So that's actually very unfortunate. Wait, maybe... Yeah, I got three kills. And maybe he wasn't paying attention. Very possible. Uh, but yeah, better cruiser openings. I probably cannot kill a Nidus with those. So that's, that's pretty scary. I'm going to get Yamato first. I'm going to put this guy over there. Uh, I think I can... Well, I do need those Widow Mines if it's going to be a uh, Nidus. That is the thing. Let's see. Uh, or if it's if it's going to be a Spire, rather. And the Spire is... Oh, it's already more than halfway. This is not good news for our build, guys. This, I don't know how. We had the best opener ever. Almost. Like, it could have been a little bit better. If I was allowed to make Hellions, then it would be perfect. But 
now we are behind again and i don't like it and it's mostly because of your strategy if you went for the bailing nest or for like roaches or for like standard play i wouldn't be quite confident for now these these battlecruisers are going to be pretty much useless guys so like I, well not useless but i won't be able to use them for quite a while and that sounds very very challenging uh i need to get an engineering bay up I also want to start spamming command center so I can actually get my five command center set up. Now he's even going to see... Wait, can I... Well, he didn't see the fusion core, but he did see me... Oh, well, maybe... No, I think he did see the fusion core. Overlords have a pretty crazy amount of range, right? Please die. Please, please. Oh, man. Broken. Imba. Who's going to tell me that's not Imba, guys? I'm going to send it to Harston. That's that's just crazy. Um, anyway, this is... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking terrified right now. I'm not going to lie. This, this is very, very scary. Now, maybe I can fly these battlecruisers across. Um, and try to get some damage while he's flying his mutilist to my side of the map. I mean, it, it's just... The, what I'm saying, it just sounds like I need a lot of luck. That's what I'm saying, and I don't like relying on luck. I, I'm not sure if I would prefer Mutas or Corruptors, because Mutas are totally fine against BCs. But they're not that good when you only have a couple. But if he makes Corruptors, he's not going to be able to harass my economy. Exactly. Okay, he's, he's going too fast. That's only five Corruptors, my guy. Uh, I have two Yamatos here. I mean, I, I have a Teleport. He, he's, he's going way too ham on this. He just lost three Corruptors for free. Okay. Very nice. I mean, I'll take it. That's, uh, you know, that, that, that's, that's a gift. I, I don't think he has that many workers, most likely. Though he did have all the possibility for greed. If I was him, I would not have made any Zerglings after seeing, you know, these two starports. I'd only be making drones, maybe some spores. Uh, and then if he did that, he would be finding himself into a fantastic spot. But we don't know if he did. So, you know, let's pray that he's been making Zerglings like a good boy. Because, uh, yeah, else uh, we, it's still going to be a little scary. going to get one more turret here so I don't get peed on by the Corruptors. Not, not my favorite thing to have happen, I'll be honest. Now, maybe I can send these Marines to do a little bit of scouting. Basically, I have two waves of Marines, if you think about it. I have five. So I can send two Marines first, and then I'll send another two Marines after that. And then I, I have maybe like three waves, if you consider uh, that lone Marine to be, a, to be a wave. It can only scout one side of the map, but who knows? Maybe it's good. Now, one move that could be pretty cool here, guys, is I could get turret range. Um, and yeah, normally it doesn't make much sense to go for turret range this fast. But the thing is... The only way I can die, like I'm not necessarily winning the game, right, by saying this, but the only way I can die is by a Corruptor attack. And turret range could actually help quite a lot with that, so it's not a bad idea. Let's see, what's the status on the 4th and 5th base? This one is halfway, and this one is not started. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I feel like um, maybe my opponent did spend a few too many resources making units, because that 4th could have been a lot faster, so that's very pleasant to see. Now let's start going for that double armory. Gonna saturate this space. What does he have? Didn't look like that many Zerglings, but I did see a bunch of Corruptors. So I need to make sure I approach carefully with the... Oh, wait. This is perfect. Oh, no. He saw me just in time. Can I get one Yamato off? Not even. He doesn't have that many upgrades yet. I'm going to try uh, sending my Widow Mines over there. Undoubtedly, he will be trying to uh, do a run by here with his Zerglings. It just makes sense, right? Let's see. Let's make sure I actually do burrow them. Here we go. And it should be safe enough. Now, let's see. Where are the Corruptors? I need to... Wait. Oh, no. That's an Infester. No. Okay. Thank goodness. Thank goodness he only fungled the one. I think he could have hit the other one. That's such a cool play by him. To just have one Infester chilling. Applause, Mr. Bam Bam. That is really not bad at all. But, like, normally people go for Infestors very late. But he had the presence of mind to just make one. Uh, that You, you can teleport away if you're fungled, by the way. Uh, Nero undoubtedly going to be on the way soon but yeah our opponent is definitely providing a very good challenge here now i know i use my teleport and i should probably chill but the corruptor count is quite small i get the feeling that he might be rushing towards a late game maybe like a little too fast so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna push out here uh, with my widow mines keep in mind he already lost his zerglings yeah i think we have a really good move here guys um if i'm judging incorrectly he's just rushing to the late game probably on that hive already uh, with a bunch of investor upgrades and he doesn't want to walk over this with his or fly over this with his corruptors right so i think this is a really good play we have found oh no are you serious no way that you're doing that no investors near as well i mean he might still get a decent trade no it's not going to be enough wait can i teleport Okay, there we go. We could save one of these. Maybe that one as well. That spore is doing a hell of a amount of damage, by the way. That spore is not pleasant for me at all. Uh, but I have enough Widow Mines. He has more Infestors. He's... Oh, no. He's making Hydras. He's making the classic mistake. The thing that always sets me off a little bit. Here we go. I have scans. You're not going to get any closer here. 
Let me kill this hatchery, and then I will dip out. Are you sure? Okay, that's if the investors do get what? Huh? Why are we taking? He didn't even have his own fifth base, but he's he trying to take my fifth. What, what is supposed to be like his eleventh base or whatever? That's that's a little bit crazy, bad man. I feel like you've got a little crazy in these last few rounds. I'm gonna get drilling quality. Yeah, okay. He's trying. Yeah, that makes sense. He's trying to take all of them. Oh, why? Why on earth did I? I think it was a good idea to send a 1 HP Battlecruiser to do that. All these Battlecruisers are low HP. Um, I am getting Drilling Claws finally. Now I'm going to get my Building Armor as well. My opponent does not have a kind of unit composition that he can break me with. Um, he can only play the late game. Which is uh, theoretically the best thing to do against Battlecruisers. Battlecruisers do lose against Zerg late game typically. Uh, if the control is optimal, of course. But... I feel like it's not that common that people play like this. So I'm, I'm kind of taking it back a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, I do like it when my opponent do the best thing possible because that provides the maximum amount of challenge, right? Now, what is over here? I'm, I'm not sure what it is because he doesn't have creep. It's, it's a bunch of hydras. No way. Are hydras going to be useful? That would be disgusting. That, 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 that would just be uh, filthy if they were useful. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teleport on top. Here we go, guys. Call me insane. Wait. The, okay. The, I really should have checked for investors. Okay, if the investors were there, this would have been the worst move of my entire YouTube career. But since they weren't close, okay, thank goodness. Now, I think I want to play this maybe like a smart and patient instead of trying to get moves right away. Uh, because he does have the spell casters already. So I'm just going to make sure I cover the entire map in Planetary. So I'm not going to try to rush the victory. I think I made mistakes like that before where, yeah, it was not quite that, uh, that comfortable. Now, he's going to attack here. Let's see. I think I have enough battle cruisers to deal with this, though. Especially combined with the Widow Mines. Now, I still haven't seen those investors. I'm going to get more sensor towers because I might as well. I'm playing the slow game here anyway. Look at the Widow Mines. Look at the Widow Mines. They're going to pop off. Oh, my goodness. Those are fantastic. Now, I know you, that's not that many investors anymore, right? Oh, the Widow Mines, man. They're doing so much work. I'm, I'm, I feel like the battle cruisers are not even doing that much. It's really just a static defense that's just rocking the show here. Now, I still need to grab those bases on top at some point. That's going to be another challenge. I'm going to start building some turrets like this just so I can uh, defend that position a little better. I don't think he wants to keep attacking here, uh, to be fair. Let's see. I, I don't have any scans. I made so many planetaries that I just don't have scans. He's going to be able to kill those Widow Mines, but I'm going to attack on top. And yeah, I have to say, guys, I don't want to get overconfident, but he's just making too many Hydras. Those things are not that good against battle cruisers, I'm afraid. But there are some units there. I don't know what it is. Good thing my planetary does have both the upgrades, so it's not going to fall that easily. Here we go. It's a lot of spores. That, that, that's well done by him for sure to get a lot of spore crawlers. Uh, but he doesn't have any defense for it. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. <gasps> I teleported on top. That was an accident, but it's going to work out. That is disgusting. I didn't mean to teleport there at all. Oh my, that was literally the, the best accident ever. That made no freaking sense. I wanted to teleport one BC to safety. That's what I tried to do. I tried to teleport one battle cruiser over here because it was low HP. Instead, I teleported on the investors and killed them all. The turrets are going to kill the uh, freaking corruptors there. And now I have so many BCs. There's no corruptors left. There's no investors to use fungals. And I have just destroyed him on accident. I mean, normally I, I'm proud of my plays, but I, I cannot take any credit for that whatsoever. That was a complete mistake and it paid off. That is maybe the most lucky I've been in a show ever. Like I always tell when my opponents are lucky, I admit it. When I'm lucky, I'm admitted. But this, this was some next level stuff. Okay, I literally teleported exactly on the path of the investors on accident. The corruptors weren't there. He probably never expected me to do that. So he wasn't even paying attention. And this game ended up being very brutal. I have to say, Bam Bam had some absolutely fantastic moves after we got ahead, but then he started making Hydras. And I say it every time, guys, it's the biggest tip I can give to you Zerg players. Hydras are just awful against battle cruisers. You do not want to make those things. They're good against Bio, Hydro Link Bane against battle cruisers. Stick to the Infestors, Corruptors, Vipers. Uh, and that's going to be okay. For now, we're still not done. So let's keep it rolling. All right, the final game of the entire show. We're going to be playing... I'm Pez is Zuri. I'm pretty sure Pez is a Protoss player, unless it's a different guy. Uh, but the final game of the show against the 5k Grandmaster Zerg. Let's freaking do it, guys. Should we go for the Command Center first again? I mean, it, it's such a vibe. But this map is not as easy to wall off, though, I think. I'm still going to try it, though, because I'm me, you know. Y you guys know how I roll at this point. Let's see. Yeah, I, I definitely need an extra depot. Um, from what I know from Pez... I think he plays relatively standard with Protoss. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. Maybe he's a Giga Cheezer and I don't know. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that he plays relatively standard. So I'm going to go for a CC first. I, I don't necessarily have to go for the double starboard battle cruiser build. 
but it's just so freaking cool, right? I mean, <laughs> I feel like these builds that I repeat often, they're just, they're just, they're just such a vibe. I can't describe it in any other way. Like playing against Protoss, going for the double gas, getting the really fast Widow Mind drop, and creating an ultimate chaos with Widow Mind drops and Battle Cruise is also just awesome. Those kind of builds, when I find those gems, I just have to keep using them because it's just it's just beautiful. Now, we didn't get to play against the Protoss in this episode, but I guess my opponent here basically counts as a Protoss in some way. Um, but yeah, he is actually playing Zerg, so... Yeah, I think he plays every race. I think I've also seen him play Terran. But all right, I do need to scout on time because, like I said, this map, I can already tell it does need an extra depot. Uh, barracks, factory, depot, that seems about right. Let's get the barracks down now. It does feel like we're playing on the Singaporean server. Okay, so it's going to be quite laggy. The extra challenge for the final game of the series. How fitting. I'm going to scout now so I can see it in time. Now, I do, I do think it could be a little awkward if I have to make an extra depot... Because I'm playing against pool first. Maybe we're not going to be so far ahead. Because that would delay my orbital in turn. But then again, if my opponent plays pool first with six links, it, it, it should be fine. Like, we should be getting away with that. Now, what's good for me is that this is a big map. So, the Overlord is going to scout my base quite late. So, let's say it's not a, a pool first. Then maybe... It's not going to be a massive advantage, but it's just like a very small thing. Like, it's going to be slightly better for me. Which is nice. Uh, now, I'm going to start with a Reaper here. You don't have to make a um, a depot very fast with CC first because you get the supply from the command center, right? So if I don't have to, then I would prefer not making it. So now he sees the low ground wall. There's not a... Okay, this is the most standard build ever, actually. He's not, he doesn't have a 100 gas mined. Uh, he cut gas a little bit earlier, so he could afford uh, to get a third hatch. Uh, and the third hatch is most likely going to be there because I think... I just have a feeling the drone was heading that way. It's not 100% uh, foul proof what I'm saying here, but I, I, that, that's what it looked like to me. Uh, so now I'm going to make one Marine. Normally I'd go for the reactor right away, but keep in mind I uh, am not allowed to make Hellions. So I don't really need that reactor. At some point I want to make double Marines. It, it is a little scary to make the reactor in those spawns, I have to admit, because... Four links will kill the reactor whilst building. Reactor, very dangerous to build early. There's the third hatch. Uh, because, yeah, a couple of links will just kill it while it's building. And there's not much you can do about it. I'm going to start building my starports all the way down here. Going to get my double gas as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, but actually... Okay, so losing the Reaper sucks. But I do really like that the Zerglings are still at home. Because now my reactor is safe. And I can instantly send my Marine into the main to deny the Overlord. So... Yeah, learning where the Zerglings was is good. I really didn't expect them to be up there, so I didn't pay attention. That's obviously a mistake by me. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, if we get Rochal in here, then, then it's going to start getting a little terrifying. But if it's not a Rochal in, then, then we're going to be pretty excited here. I have a lot of gas. Yeah, this build, this build hits so freaking hard. The version I do is even a little greedy. So if I get away with it, it, it it's just going to hit like a freaking truck, you know? All right, let's get the second starport up here. I'm going to make it like slightly above so I don't block my um, my worker in later on. That does happen. And if you guys know me, I do tend to execute the worker if they get stuck. And that would be tragic. Uh, so <laughs> let's just try to not get it stuck in the first place. Now, how many Widow Mines do I need to defend? I, I think I'm already at the spot where I'm safe. Right now, he sees my defense. And he must know something is going on. Because you just you wouldn't make a bunch of Widow Mines early on. He's not going to scout anything, which is great for us. Like, quite literally, nothing is going to be seen besides the fact that I have a lot of Marines. Which is admittedly a little weird. Uh, but it's also not so crazy that, uh, you know, alarm bells are going to start ticking off. I'm going to start Yamato. I'm going to move this one on the map. A Rochal in would still probably be pretty devastating. I need one more depot. I'll just do a launchy. It's actually better to launch it here for me because I don't want to have to spend the minerals. If you look at my gas... Oh, it's going to work out perfectly, isn't it? Look at that, guy. It's beautiful. I can make SCVs, and I'm going to have exactly 400, 300 at the same time, pretty much. Slightly later on the minerals, but as good as it could be. I'm going to hit before six minutes with this. I feel like uh, consistently I've been hitting such a ridiculous timing. Okay, so this is just a scout. I want to see if there's a Roach War in here. Very nice scout, quite happy with that. Um, I don't think I want to make more Widow Mines because from looking at his base, it just looks like he's going for a standard macro play. I don't think there's going to be a lair particularly fast. It doesn't look like we're going to get attacked by roaches. I I'm scared though because what I'm going to do, I'm going to teleport these battle cruisers across blindly. Um, <laughs> and yeah, if there are somehow spire, uh, spire units out fast enough, that's going to be painful. I think we're going to be completely fine, but I suppose we'll see. 
Let's see, this one's gonna finish. I do want to keep making batter cruiser so I can keep the rhythm up. Do I need more widow mines? Like what he could do? Let's say he has a bailing nest. I, I don't think he should have made one because he saw that I was making widow mines, which are non-threatening. Uh, at least not in a in a direct attack, right? Um, he probably doesn't have bailings, but if he does, he can make a baiting nest and bust me, and then we're gonna get into a crazy base trade. For now, let's go. Yamato is about to finish. There's a lot of queens, but I don't think there's enough here, to be honest. I'm just gonna start targeting the one with the high energy first. There we go. That one is gonna die quite soon, and then the rest is gonna follow quite soon as well. I have one more Yamato. I'm gonna Yamato the Spore, because he already used all of his transfuses. Normally you can't do this, but he already used all of his transfuses, so I can Yamato the Spore. The Queens are gonna die, and this build is looking absolutely insane, as per usual. Now, these Battle Crushers could die. Should I go for the Diver? Oh, for a second it looked like he wasn't gonna pay attention with the transfuses. I'm, I'm just gonna try to go for it, though. Let's see how much I can truly kill. He's not microing the Queens. Is there Bailing? There's no Bailing yet either. Wait, the Battle Cruiser is barely gonna die, I believe. Let's see. The Battle Cruiser does die. That's unfortunate. But as long as there is no Spire, we are simply completely safe. So, what I would like to do is scan here. That Spire is gonna die, I think, guys. Uh, yeah, oh, this is looking nice. I'm gonna distract him with these two BCs. The spot, oh, it's, it's pretty advanced, but I think we're gonna be in time. Check this out. Now, he might be moving queens over here to try and save this base. And then I'm gonna teleport two BCs on top of the spire and kill it. He also has a roach warren, which is pretty good for us. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna use a double Yamato as well. He does have bailings now. Uh, no, I don't need the second one, I think, right? Yeah, it's gonna die in time. Let's freaking go. That is so nice. I'm gonna Yamato the, sp the Spore Crawler now as well. He is killing this BC. Right, he's actually not gonna be able to kill it, but he's gonna lose the Spore. He's losing a lot of workers. He has Bailings, but there is nothing there to kill uh, anymore, so that's really nice for us. Look at these BCs, guys. They're just reigning supreme. I don't think there's anything he can do against these Battle Cruisers. Four Queens is not enough. They're good against one BC. They're not good enough against two. He does kill those Widow Mines because I had them a little bit too clumped, I think. But look at those Queens just suffering. He's gonna have to rebuild another Spire somewhere else. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna be, gonna be going for my double armory. Oh, that please don't die. I'm gonna teleport that one over here, actually, to keep that safe. Oh, wait, the Spire's here. Oh, my God, we found the Spire. I didn't even have to scan for it. I was going to say, I need to scan to find the Spire, but we're going to kill it again. If he doesn't have a backup Spire, uh, then he's just going to be really, really sad here, I think. And now I finally can't take this base. Let's see if the Spire is being built here. There is another Spire, but I do have two more Battlecruisers. I'm going to teleport on top of that one and kill it as well. Really good move for him to make two at the same time, by the way. I have to say, I'm going to go for the double Yamato on the Spire just to make sure it dies. These Queens are going to fall. The second Spire is going to fall as well just as the queens and there's not enough spores protecting the mineral line anymore i think this queen is gonna fall here and we have so many freaking battle cruisers and there we go no gg and that is the final game of battle cruiser with my two good master don't think we lost oh did we lose a bc yeah we lost one I was going to say, don't think we lost one, but we lost one BC in a couple of Widow Mines. Almost five times the resources lost. Absolutely beautiful. And this was just for Battle Cruiser and Widow Mine to Master. Let's see what MMR we ended up in. I think we're probably around the edge of rank 50 Grandmaster. Uh, that sounds about right to me. Let's see. 5395 MMR. Keep that in mind. And that is going to be good for roughly... Rank 38 Grandmaster. Not bad at all, guys. Top 40 even. Didn't think we were going to be that high until we are like on the edge of top 50. But that's very good. Next up, obviously, I'm going to be continuing with Cloak to Grandmaster as well as some new projects. Hope you guys really enjoyed the series, enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and see y'all for Cloak to Grandmaster. Adios.